you know, we have to stay woke. Like everybody needs to be woke. <laughs> and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken folks and weirdos, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man. So how are your stocks are doing? Yeah. Wake up Monday morning and stocks on fire. It's a sale. Recession risk larger, stocks getting clobbered. Investors who were irrationally exuberant just a few weeks ago now running for the hills. Stocks are getting clobbered with the Dow down 2,000 points in the last three trading days. There may also be some politics to this story as chameleon Kamala Harris polling better than Joe Biden was. Well, that's a low bar. And no matter what she says, we do know she hates business. Don't worry. Don't worry. We have Kamala Harris at the helm. All that, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, that is called... Bidenomics. <laughs> that is called Bidenomics, and we are very proud of Bidenomics. <laughs> You're telling me Kamala Harris, who has never been executive nowhere, who never created a job, who don't know nothing about money, she don't even know nothing about the cloud. You're now, no longer are you necessarily keeping those private files in some file cabinet that's locked in the basement of the house. It's on your laptop, and it's then, therefore, up here in this cloud that exists above us, right? Mm -hmm. It's no longer in a physical place. You're telling me you will put her in charge to fix all this? Yeah, Kamala Crash or Trump Cash. What do you prefer? Now, I don't know. Who is Kamala's strategist? But that little stunt they pull in Atlanta, man, that shit fell epically. Everybody is riding her and making the stallion. You know, let me talk to you about Kamala Harris because she is my girl. Mm-hmm. You know, these streets is talking, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to go vote for Kamala Harris right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Girl, whew, thank goodness we have upon us... A b strong black candidate. Mm-hmm. No uh, slave yeah. ships for us. And Trump found a average woman from Chick-fil-A when he first visited a couple of months ago and brought her onto stage. Michaela Montgomery comes out and ate Kamala's lunch. See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? Yes, good for you. And she is not just talking it, she's walking it also. Not only do I serve as the CEO of Conserve the Culture? I am also the state director for Blexit down here in Georgia. I'm a Fulton County coordinator for America First Works, and I'm also launching a podcast on the Patriots Prayer Network. So put some respect on my name. She has her own foundation called Conserve the Culture. Young lady got skin in the game. She's not just talking it, she is walking it also. Shameless plug. If y'all need anybody to knock doors, make phone calls, 
wave signs, get people out to the polls, call me at Conserve the Culture. Because not only do I mobilize the HBCU students so that they may get this message, but I'm the best person when it comes to black engagement in the black community. And nobody needs this message more than my folks. So if, do y'all care for real? Are y'all with us for real? Conservetheculture.com for any and all inquiries. Y'all can follow me at Miss Kayla, baby. I'm going to give it back to Big T. See, that's grassroots. That's what it's all about. Normal people coming around and talking to neighbors, talking to people, talking to her peers about Donald Trump. Unlike Kamala, who's bringing down Megan the Stallion. Now, while Kamala is running down and trying to get the low information voters. She trying to get those votes. What? The other people she is shunning. Do you know who is the biggest earner in America is? I'm going to show you this chart here. See this chart? This is the African American ones right here at the bottom. The low income owners, the low information voters. Okay. And on the top of the pyramid, it's not white people. It's Indian Americans. Now, why would Kamala chase down the low information voters and the biggest earners, her culture, she's denying. Now, the Asian folks not even trying to fuck with her. Kamala Harris! The Indian community will not be voting for you. Specifically because you are half Indian and you invited Megan the Stallion over MIA? You are the best Indian rapper in the world to come to your rally. And you picked Megan? She is great, but that ass is not Indian. Kamala, you talk about coconut trees, but you do not use coconut oil. You look like a damn sandworm from Dune with that dry ass skin of yours. The only thing that's black about Kamala is she's a black sheep of the culture. Have you ever seen a Indian that is homeless in America? No. No, 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 no. They believe in generational wealth. They believe in family. They believe in marriages. Even though it's arranged marriages, they believe in that. Their two, four grandparents will help you raise the child. Okay? Kamala is none of that. Kamala don't have any children. Kamala was raised by a single mother. Kamala was married late in life. She was married at what, 45, 49 or something like that? It says a lot about a woman who won't even carry the man's last name. Not even hyphenate the name. Imagine if her name was Kamala Emhoff. Would the black folks support her like they do now? No. No, no. She is married to... Kanye, help me out. I'm not going to say what race, what people... You know, I can't say that. Yes, so if her she had changed her name to Kamala Emhoff, she'll get none of the support right now. None of this. Vice President Kamala Harris is black. She's always identified as black. Her father, also black. Here she is at the 2006 State African of Amer Black America. She also went to Howard University and is a member of the historically black Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. Imagine a white geezer lecturing a room full of black journalists about who is and isn't black. You black people kill me when you say Kamala is black because she went to HBCU and she pledged AKA. Well, you know what? There's a NAACP president of Washington, she also went to Howard University. She pledged Delta. Do you know what her name is? Rachel Dolezal. What? Yeah. Is she black? Huh, guys? She black too? No. You guys are kidding me. You also want to say that her dad is from Jamaica. Jamaica is a nation, not a race of people. But Kamala been to India plenty of times. She never been to Jamaica. How you claim that you're black and you don't have a Tyrone in your family? You don't have a Jerome in your family. Shamika? No, you have none of these. And but you're claiming that you're black. 
Anyway, I can't wait for the first debate. Kamala was shred to pieces by Tulsi Gobert. Tulsi, this one right here used to be a Democrat from Hawaii. And she went on stage and tore Kamala up. I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your response. You can't handle that young lady. You think you can handle Trump, Miss Prosecutor? <laughs> You're pathetic. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you HBCU knuckleheads, get your ass off my lawn.